Now, after learning about the probability rule, let's try to apply the rules in solving this problem as followed. Um, here, Dr. Miriam Johnson has been teaching accounting for 20 years. From her experience, she knows that 60% Sixty percent of her students do homework regularly. So let's define A as do homework regularly, where P A equals to sixty percent. Ninety percent of the students who do their homework regularly generally pass the course. So we have do homework and pass the course. 95% uh, do homework, pass the course. So we say that it is a conditional probability. They pass the course after doing their homework. That is 95%. The prior probability is doing homework and the um, event coming after the prior probability is passing the course. Now, the next one, she also knows that 85% pass the course. So B, we have uh, defined here, uh, pass the course is 85%. I mean, this is P, B. Now let's start with number one. What is the probability? that a student will do homework regularly and also pass the course. So remember we have N here. So this would be joint probability, P, A, and B. Remember for joint probability, we use the multiplication rule, P, A, and B equals to P, A times P, B. And fortunately, from the problem, we have the informations to solve for part A. So we just um, put in the numbers 60% times 85% is just equal to 57% or 0.57. So the probability that a student will do homework regularly and pass the course is 0.57. Now for number B, or number two here, this should be number one and number two, what is the probability that a student will neither do homework regularly nor will pass the course? So that should be P, A, or B complement. And from the complement rule, we know it, it would be one minus P, A, or B. P, A, or B, P, A, neither, A, uh, uh, sorry, P, A, or B. Because, yeah, this is, um, we only can solve this one, A or B, so to get this answer, we use the complement rule. Uh, and to solve A or B based on uh, the rule, it's just one, uh, yeah, uh, one minus P A or B is P A plus P B minus P A and B. And from part A, part one, we know that P, A, and B is not equal to zero, so A or B is not a mutually exclusive event. Now we can uh, work on it. So this would be one minus P, A was 60% plus P, B is 85%. Minus P, A, and B from uh, point 0.1 is 57%. So this would be equal to 1 minus 
60% minus 57, 3%, 3%, 85%, 88%. This should be 100%, yeah, because we're using percent. 100 minus 88 is just 12%. So we can say that the probability that a student will neither do homework nor will pass the course is 20%. Probably we can try to draw the Venn diagram, yeah? Uh, we have PA, uh, let's use this color, PA, and then we have PB, where PA and PB is 57. PA and PB is 57. Uh, PA in, uh, in total is 60 because A and B is 57. So uh, that is not, uh, that does not intersect uh, with um, B is 3. And PB is 85. Since we have 57, this should be 28. Yeah, 28%. And this is B. If this is the whole set, we have calculated that nor A nor B is 12. So 12% time plus 28 plus 57 plus 3 must equal to 100 percent. Now let's continue on part 3. Are the events pass course and do homework regularly mutually exclusive? Okay, just by looking at the uh, diagram fan that we just uh, construct here, um, no, it's not mutually exclusive. Be, uh, and the second one is we can uh, answer based on uh, the problem, the answer we did for part one, because uh, A intersection with B is not equal to zero. So based on the Venn diagram, there is an intersection here, and the intersection PA uh, intersection B is not equal to zero, and it's equal 0.57. Now for number four, are the event pass course and do homework regularly independent? So is P A and uh, P A and P B independent? Okay, for independent, remember we can use the this information. Let's use this information. P B A equals to ninety five. So for part four, P B A equals to ninety five percent for independency remember that p b a or yeah b does not affect um b does uh, oh a does not has an effect to b that's said to be independent and if a does not have an effect to b p b a should be equal to p b now let's find out how many percent PB is 85%. So this is 95% and PB is 85%. So it's not equal. So we can say that PA and PB is dependent. Dependent events.